Hey, what's up, everyone? Here we are again. Some more Nine Monkeys of Shaolin. We've already talked to this dude, done our things. That's a little bit boring. Now, I think we might have unlocked something with this guy. Oh, yeah, we've got a fisherman's pole. Give me that pole. Okay, so attack speed increases as the combo counter grows. Ooh, that's interesting. I think I'm going to stick with the forest rage, though. Yeah, me too. I like get the health back. Oh look, that's that green thing that we got from killing that boss. The ghost thing. The green thing. Yeah, the green thing from the ghost thing. Right. Um, okay, we've got two missions. One's for some fancier sandals. And one is for a choppy stick thing. I want choppy stick. Choppy stick? Cool. So, the Red Wuku clan is camped in a cave not far from your old village. You and Zwan Pei will go through the secret palace and set fire to the ships, after which we'll force them back from the main entrance and spring the trap shut. Stay alert and don't take unnecessary risks. Listen up, everyone. As you've probably noticed, the local authorities are still doing nothing. As if it's ever been otherwise. That's true. However, we have received a letter from an official named Wang Taishin. He has arrived from the capital to act as the censor and to restore order to the province. His powers are still limited, but his spies have discovered the location of the Wuku base. It is in a coastal cave not far from Wei Chang's village. They have been hiding right under our noses this whole time. We must go at once Cheeky before Wuku. their leader eludes us once again. I know the cave. We'd often climb inside as children. Not many people know that it has two entrances. A large one from the beach and a tiny one from the opposite side, which leads to a subterranean river. It's pitch dark in that part of the grotto, with little space and sheer drops on either side. The path is nearly impossible to spot from the inside, and the Wuku won't know about it. We can storm in through that entrance and use the element of surprise. A good idea, but such a plan won't work. Considering how narrow the cave is, we will be like fish in a barrel if they spot us too early. Let's do this instead. I will lead the main group in from the beach and engage them outside, drawing out their main forces. Meanwhile, you and Shuan Pai will slip in from behind and set fire to their ships. This will cause a panic, and will then use all our strength to force them back inside the cave. Excellent plan. Let's go. Cool. Let's do it. Sneaky cave hunting. Shuanpai, are oh, you alright? Let's listen to this guy. It, it appears that the pirates found out about this passage and set a trap in the water. The blade has gone straight into my stomach. Poor chap. I must call for help. Maybe the others haven't launched the attack yet. I'll be alright. You can do it. You can do it. I still go. I'm trying to remember the boots. Hey! Alright, we've got some tea. Oh, I better use it. Whoa! Suicide bomber. Crap. Very not fun. Oh, they're a pain in the ass. Oh, that's so stupid. <laughs> yeah, there we go. It's a timing, isn't it? These guys have put some shield up. Oh. Some 
see after that. Oh, jump a bit. Oh, crap. Do you little spinny thing. What? <laughs> yeah, good job, dude. There you go. You do. I'll take a red one. Back on the screen. Oh, it's too early. Oh, I was already down. You're on your own. Oh, oh okay. the time, isn't it? Yeah. going well. Nice. Fuckers. All you got to do is miss that timing just a little bit. Such a bugger, isn't it? Cool. Oh, oh, lucky dude. You got the parry and everything. They just keep coming. Right, third time lucky.
Oh, I'm stuck. Another T down the bottom there. Ah, oh, too bloody early. Oh crap. Oh, I'm on death's doorstep. No tea. Got one of the bombers. Oh, crap sticks. I thought it was going for you and then it went for me. Yeah. Hey, nice. Sorry for burning down your Ooh, village. How's the mission? I yeah. Had no choice. A few years ago, a bloodthirsty a tyrant bitch. appeared in my homeland, who had decided to conquer the whole country. My father stood against him, and fell, by the walls of our castle, together with our whole clan. I wanted to launch myself at my foes and die for my family's honor, but I realized that if I died, so would the memory of our clan. I gathered a handful of samurai most loyal to my father and went into exile. I swore that one day I would restore our clan. A fascinating story, but what does it have to do with the murder of hundreds of people? Your deaths were supposed to pay Fudo for the resurrection of my clan. Forgive me, father. I have failed. I was going to do herself. Proper samurai style. Yeah. Good. She's a bitch. Before she died, she said that someone called Fudo promised to resurrect her family in exchange for people's lives. Fudo is a Japanese deity, believed to cast out demons with fire. 
I have never heard of people making sacrifices to him. Especially human ones. Do you think we're dealing with a cult? I don't know yet, but something tells me that there is a person behind the name. Dun, dun, dun. There we go, we've got a new choppy pole stick thing. Cool. Master Zhongfei, I would like to speak to you. You have taught me a lot since I've been with you. How to move during a fight, how to strike, how to center my chi, how to breathe, and even how to fall correctly. I've almost completed all the tasks set by Master Guanli, from defending villages to washing these blasted floors. And now you want to take the monastic vows and become a student monk. Am I right? I won't argue with that. You're quick to learn, you train hard, and already fight better than many Shaolin monks. Yet I have one question for you. You have finally gotten revenge on the person who killed your grandfather and burned down your village. How do you feel now? For me, she was evil incarnate. Every day, I imagined how I would take her life with my own hands. I wanted her nearest and dearest, people I'd never met, to die a painful death. You probably expect me to say that her murder didn't change anything, that I don't feel any better and other such banalities. However, I do feel better. Although not because I got my revenge. She was only human. She committed all these murders because she was unable to accept her father's death. I feel better because I was able to discard my hate towards her and feel sorry that she is dead. Mm. You have changed much since we first met, Wei Chang. Well, I agree. Wei Chang swore not to drink wine, eat meat, commit adultery, or kill. However, the Shaolin warriors were allowed to break the last commandment if they were in mortal danger. Apart from renouncing worldly pleasures, Wei Chung also had to forswear his common name and take on a new monastic name. Thus, Wei Chung went from being a simple fisherman to being the monk Dao Kung. Dao Kung. Cool. Check us out. Oh, yeah. Lost all our hair and everything. Teacher Zhong Fei. Why is my new name so similar to Dao Shan's name? The name of every new Shaolin monk is made up of three parts. The first, She, indicates that the monk belongs to our temple. We don't usually pronounce that part. The second part is taken from a strict like order of names talk, described they? 300 years ago in the poem by Abbot Fuyu. It is the same for all the students of one teacher, so my followers are always called Dao. The third part is unique for every monk, and is made up by the teacher. Let's move on to more pressing matters. Now that you are one of us, I would like to teach you another one of our techniques. Not many people know of it, and even less can do it. It is based on being able to completely control your chi. We usually start teaching it after months of preparation and meditation. But we don't have enough time right now. Cool, new special moves. See what we get. Mm. This we technique is called the three ground seals. Unlike southern elements, it works best when fighting against several opponents. This style drastically differs from everything you have gotten used to. Earth Seals allows us to use Qi for an indirect effect on your foes. The first seal is the Seal of Harmony. It weakens your enemy's defenses. The second seal is the Seal of Levity, which lifts opponents into the air. I'm a Jedi now. <laughs> you just carry on your train attacks for ages. Well, we've definitely done it a few times whilst we teaching this expert. 
никто на. This poor guy. <laughs> Can't Let's work that for us, dude. Do you want to finish training? No, I want you to tell us the rest of it. Oh, I'm, I'm going to end the training, dude. I think we know yeah. what we're doing. Alright, let's upgrade our bits and bobs. And then we can get cracking again. Um. Yep. Let's go have a look at our new stabby stick thing. Typhoon and Rockfall will inflict additional fire damage on the target and surrounding foes. Yeah, I want that one. Sounds pretty cool, doesn't it? Alright, so I think the next mission is for the other slippers. Yeah. Wang Tai Quing has sent another letter in which he congratulates us on our victory. According to him, despite all our wins, the Wuku remains strong and the situation is more complicated than it seems at first glance. Therefore, he invites us to a temporary residence at Lake Z to discuss further plans face to face. Wan Tai Xin, the official who told us the I'm location of the Wuku base, has sent us another letter. He congratulates us on our victory and thanks us for helping the local residents while the head of the province does nothing. Gratitude doesn't make a meal. It would be better if he sent in the army. Wong Tai Xin is just the censor, and censors don't send out armies. He can only arrest those guilty of incompetence or corruption. The official also says that the situation is more complicated than it seems at first glance. He has invited me to his temporary residence in Hongzhou to discuss it in person. Zhang Lu and Dao Kung will accompany me. Cool. Crack on. The Wuku have attacked the residents. Guan Li, what's the plan? Our first priority is to protect Wang Tai Xin. The residence is very large, and we don't know exactly where he is. We'll have to split up and scour the whole territory. As soon as you find the official, protect him until the others arrive. Cool. Stop destroying the place. <laughs> These ones like ninjas, they keep on like disappearing and stuff. Struggling to figure out which one was me then. Yeah, we look quite similar now, don't we? And there's tea back here, dude. Grab one of them each. I'll grab that one as well. Sweet. Nice. Cool little combos going.
guy's a lot tougher. It's taking more to take him out. His T's over here, dude. Yeah, grab him. I'm alright. Okay. Oh, oh there's another secret comfy dude up here. Yeah, got him. Save someone or save the town. We gotta escort somebody. Thank you for saving me. The Wuku have already found out about your arrival somehow. Ah, there is no mystery in that. The provincial governor is colluding with the pirates, and I have evidence to show his complicity in what is happening. That explains why nobody has gathered the troops and driven back the pirates so far. Why can't you arrest him? Hmm. You may not have heard, but our Emperor has passed away recently after a long illness. His son, Juitsu, who is still a child, has now ascended the throne. The young Emperor's retinue has been trying to agree on who will be regent until he reaches his majority. So far, all these advisors, eunuchs, and nobility have been mired in feuding and arguments. The common folk are suffering. All they care about is power. Oh, uh, this is sadly true. Like all censors, I only obey the Emperor or his regent, and only he can authorize an arrest. My hands are thus tied in the short term. Unlike you, we are not bound by bureaucratic restrictions. We won't interfere in your conflict with the Governor, but if you have information regarding the Wukur, we are keen to hear it. Huh, that's all I was hoping for. As you know, for many years, our country has been under the hygiene, a sea ban, that forbids merchant ships of other countries from entering the Middle Kingdom ports. I clearly remember it being abolished right after the Wuku were defeated. It was said that lifting the ban would prevent the pirates from reappearing, and indeed, the Wuku were not seen for all those years. But the hygiene had one exception, the Ryukyu Kingdom. It alone was allowed to trade with us overseas enabling them to amass huge wealth. Now, they've lost their exclusive position. I suspect that the Ryukyu merchants have hired the ex-Wuku to resume attacks. They will use their own people at court to push for the hygiene to be reinstated, using the new pirate invasion as an excuse. The death of the Emperor has also played into their hands. It's bad news all around as it won't be easy to get to these merchants. Have you ever heard of a person called Fudo? One of the Wuku leaders mentioned him. Fudo? There's a lot more no, fun about I haven't. bloody dogs. Oh no, fuck me. It's a nightmare, isn't In it? Return, I would ask you to pass Is it a fucking fighting game or a storytelling game? Which one yeah. Any yeah. needs would be helpful right now. Agreed. Oh, there we go. We've got some fancy slippers. The pigeon has brought alarming news on, from the monastery at the top of Mount Juhua, one of the sacred mountains in yeah. Buddhism. <laughs> the monks report that they have been attacked by pirates 
They're talking about us as much as long as the fight. I know yeah. that monastery. Its monks are excellent warriors and have previously taught me a lot. It makes no sense for the Wuku to attack them, however, as the temple is small and holds no expensive relics. This is what we will try to find out. I already have another task for you, but Dao Kung, go there and try to find out what possible interest the Wuku have in the temple. I think we'll save that one for another day. Yeah. That's quite a mission getting through that boss. Right, well yeah, until next time everyone, take it easy. Laters.